uh, uh, welcome to uh, today's uh, uh, topic about uh, wastewater and uh, about how a product in this uh, application. Uh, so first, uh, we will just um, uh, take a look about the uh, wastewater treatment process uh, at uh, general. Uh, so uh, normally, uh, this is a, a very general um, wastewater treatment process for uh, municipal. Uh, for uh, industrial uh, wastewater treatment process, there may be some uh, other additional uh, step, but um, but the, the general ones will be uh, just the same like, like municipal uh, wastewater treatment process. First, we will have the sewage uh, uh, system where we can pump the the water, uh, the wastewater into the the the, um, uh, the plant. The first um, treatment uh, step shall be uh, mechanical treatment. Normally, there will be some screening, vast screen, and fat and sand remover, and then there will be the first the primary uh, uh, clarifier. From here, we can remove a part of uh, the TLS um, content, and also we can also remove a part of um, uh, organic compound, uh, organic compound, organic content inside. Normally, we, we will measure it by the BOD or a COD parameter. That is the first step of the of the wastewater treatment process. After that, we will through the um, secondary uh, treatment. Uh, the secondary treatment shall be uh, some uh, biological tank to uh, treat uh, organic, um, dissolved organic, um, some uh, some some uh, um, uh, um, uh, nitrogen like ammonia, nitrate, nitrate, and also we can also remove a part of um, phosphate over here. After the uh, uh, biological tank, there will be another secondary clarifier to remove um, uh, the, the, um, the last part of um, TLS and also the uh, organic compound. So that is the second uh, secondary uh, treatment. After the secondary treatment, we will have disinfection. For disinfection, for wastewater, we will uh, need to be very careful because for wastewater um, at the outlet, even after treat after uh, after the treatment, there may be a part, uh, there may be still a high part of, of uh, organic compound that when we use chlorine to treat uh, this uh, water, we can like produce the by, uh, the the um, uh, disinfection byproduct, which which is very harmful to uh, uh, human uh, health. Uh, so we have two different uh, uh, technologies for for the um, for, for the disinfection for wastewater the wastewater disinfection. We can use uh, either a chlorine or UV. So more and more uh, today uh, we use UVs uh, to to replace uh, the chemical uh, chlorine uh, for for uh, for the good purpose. Okay, that is the the general uh, uh, wastewater treatment uh, process. Um, same. This is the uh, um, um, uh, um, uh, for the wastewater treatment process. We have bathroom first, and then grid chamber to remove uh, sand and and grits uh, and oil, something like over here. And then there will be a pump to pump the water go through a primary uh, clarifier. After the, the the primary clarifier, we have the secondary treatment, which is uh, a combination of um, aeration tank and the secondary uh, clarifier to remove uh, organic compound and also uh, ammonia. After that, we will have the dissipation contact uh, chamber. Normally, we use chlorine, uh, is, which is uh, um, um, uh, sodium hypochlorite, the, the chemical we use. But we can also use a uh, UV system to 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 um, to treat uh, uh, bacteria. Uh, for the uh, parameter, we we need to measure normally because the wastewater treatment process is used to uh, remove particle. It means uh, the TLS, TSS, and also we we want to remove also the uh, organic compound like BOD, COD, and the ammonia. So that is all of the parameter we need to uh, monitor. So we can we need to monitor at the inlet. We need to monitor. Um, Suspended so solids, TLS, uh, TOC, ammonia for space. That is a very important thing we need to uh, monitor at the inlet of the 
uh, wastewater treatment plant. That is also the parallel we need to monitor at the outlet to uh, uh, to judge the, um, the treatment uh, performance. Uh, during the, um, the process, for example, at the uh, client fire, we need to monitor the uh, sludge level to to control the sludge removal uh, process. So uh, at the end, uh, at the bottom of the, um, the client fire, we will need to have a pump to uh, draw the, 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 uh, uh, the settled sludge. So we need to monitor also the sludge level over here. In the in the aeration uh, tank, normally we use oxygen. We we use a uh, uh, air blower to blow uh, the air into the the aeration tank uh, to to supply oxygen for this process. So we also need to monitor oxygen, uh, this sort of oxygen uh, in this tank. So normally we we can install some uh, DO, this sort of oxygen uh, sensor over here. And also, we need to keep uh, some uh, 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 amount of um, MLFS. That is the, um, the sludge we need to use. We need to supply into the, um, the, the biological tank to treat um, the, the, uh, the organic compound. That's why we also need to monitor the content of um, TLS, which, which means it's, uh, the same thing like MLFS in the, in the tank. So we also need to measure TLS in the um, in the biological tank. Same for for cryfire, we also need to measure the sludge level uh, and the 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 outlet. We need to monitor different uh, uh, parameter to to judge the the the, the treatment uh, performance. If we use chlorine, we also need to monitor the residual chlorine uh, at the effluent. So that is all of the parameter that we need to measure. Of course, that there will be also different other parameter we may need to monitor uh, uh, as well. OK, uh, first, just take a look about the typical uh, concentration of municipal wastewater. This is a very uh, um, uh, average um, uh, uh, value. This may be different, uh, depends uh, on uh, plan. But normally for COD, we will have around uh, 400 to 600 uh, equivalent to 200 to 300 uh, milligram per liter of beauty. Uh, we have also very high ammonia at the inlet and no uh, nitrate at the outlet uh, at the inlet. Sorry, uh, we also have a uh, high uh, total phosphorus also uh, and another um, pH. Uh, that is what we need to treat. And at the outlet, we need to keep uh, uh, all of the parameter uh, uh, within the limit. So COD less than 100, PUD less than uh, 50 uh, P, uh, uh, milligram per liter, um, ammonia less than 10, and nitrate. Nitrate actually in Vietnam, the limit will be uh, like less than uh, uh, 30, less than 30 uh, milligram per liter. But of course, it's different. It depends on on country. But in Vietnam. Uh, uh, nitrate needs to be less than 30, 30 uh, milligrams per liter for the outlet of wastewater treatment plant. Uh, total phosphorus and turbidity. Normally, we do not use turbidity for uh, wastewater. We use uh, uh, TAS actually, but but depends also uh, depends country. In in the US, we use uh, turbidity, but in Vietnam, we use TAS, and the limit for TAS will be. Uh, uh, 50 to to 100 milligram per liter at TFS. Okay, that's the very general uh, 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 value for wastewater treatment plan. Okay, uh, so uh, just go uh, take a look about the uh, about the, the the plan. First, we will have the inlet with lip pump. It depends also the uh, uh, depends the the the, um, the plan, but normally we can use. Uh, uh, something like like this uh, spiral uh, pump. We can also have different kind of pump to uh, to transfer the wastewater into the system. Okay, uh, for the primary uh, uh, treatment, we might have bath screen, uh, sand removal, and then the primary uh, sedimentation tank, so clarifier, primary clarifier. 
uh, for screening, you can have different uh, device. Uh, this is just a, some uh, typical uh, screen bar to, to remove uh, garbage. Uh, and the first step the, of the treatment uh, process. Uh, after the screen bar, we will have a sand trap. Sand trap is just a, it looks just like a, a small um, a sedimentation tank to to let the, the sand uh, settle down uh, at the bottom of the, of the of the tank and then remove by scrapper and a pump and a pump, something like that. And we, we may have also um, uh, the the, um, the sand trap combined with fat oil gist removal. It's just like a same, uh, a same uh, sedimentation, sedimentation tank, but we have also skimmer uh, uh, at the top of the tank to remove uh, fat and oil that uh, uh, suspend on the uh, on the surface of the of the tank. So just for some for some uh, uh, plant that we have a high content of oil and fats, we can have this kind of tank to remove both uh, sand and oil at the beginning at the first step of the treatment plan. Okay. Next will be the first uh, uh, primary fire fire. So it's, it will be uh, just a, a long uh, tank. Uh, it can be a rectangle uh, tank or um, uh, a circular tank. We have two different types of uh, primary uh, tank. Uh, the purpose only to to uh, um, uh, to let the TDS, the, the sludge, uh, settle down at the bottom of the tank and then remove by a scrapper and a sludge pump. So at, at this step, a part of TDS and also uh, some uh, uh, organic compound um, in uh, in, uh, in uh, particulate uh, state that also can be settled at, at the bottom of the tank will be removed uh, at this step. So we can remove a part of TDS and also particle uh, uh, particle uh, organic uh, uh, compound like. Uh, 30 or 35 uh, percent uh, at this step. OK, next. Uh, next will be the, the, the secondary uh, treatment, which combine a uh, biological tank and a secondary uh, sedimentation tank. For biological tank, this is just a tank that we sub oxygen because inside in the wastewater, uh, we already have a battery that uh, that will uh, consume uh, uh, oxygen, uh, consume uh, uh, organic compound. We only need to uh, um, uh, remain a very good condition for the bacteria to uh, to consume uh, uh, organic compound and also uh, nitrogen like ammonia. So the the good condition will be uh, an, a tank uh, with high uh, diesel oxygen. Uh, content inside and also temperature and also um, MLSS, which is uh, which is battery. MLS actually is sludge and also is battery, and that battery will be used to uh, to treat uh, organic compound. But for this thing, we will need to uh, uh, um, keep the diesel oxygen content around. Uh, two to four ppm diesel oxygen, and also for activated sludge, which means the MLSS, which is the sludge that we uh, recirculate from the secondary tank. We recirculate, re recirculate uh, the sludge from secondary uh, cement sedimentation tank back to this uh, tank to supply uh, uh, microorganism for uh, for the treatment. And, uh, and the activated sludge is around uh, two, uh, three to six grams per liter. It means that 3,000 uh, to 6,000 milligram per liter uh, uh, MLSS. It means TLS. This is also bacteria. Okay, this is what we need to 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 uh, to keep uh, in the tank. Uh, so so the, the the treatment will be uh, will be occur. Uh, we can also use so for for the bi biological uh, treatment we can treat uh, organic compound and also uh, ammonia, but we cannot uh, 
uh, uh, remove uh, phosphorus. For phosphorus, we need to use chemical. We need to use the uh, the uh, saturation uh, uh, saturate uh, saturation process. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, common uh, common uh, technology for aeration. We have two different kinds. Uh, we can use also surface aerator. They, they uh, now uh, there's still now some some plan used uh, this kind of uh, um, aerator. But uh, the the most used will be the diffuser. It will be the the air blower. So in, we can use either the aerator or the diffuser, the air blower, to uh, to supply oxygen from the bottom of the tank. This one will be only the aerator. Uh, to 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 mix and then and then oxygen from from the air will go through the the water and so that's that's how we 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 provide oxygen uh, to the wastewater with this kind of uh, uh, technology. Okay. Uh, and also this is the 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 the, the part of the of the um, of the plants that use the most power. So we we. We uh, we use a lot of power uh, for this step only to uh, to supply oxygen to the to the biological tank. Okay, uh, just take a look about the theory of the biological treatment. So uh, as I said, uh, the biological the biological treatment is very simple. Inside of the wastewater, we have already bacteria, and this bacteria will uh, consume. We consume all of the uh, uh, COD with the um, with the condition of oxygen. So that we consume uh, COD um, uh, in the um, in the uh, oxygen um, uh, environment. So we need to supply oxygen uh, to the to the tank so that uh, bacteria uh, can consume uh, COD and produce CO two gas uh, go out of the out of the the, um, uh, the the process and uh, develop more uh, bacteria in which is uh, sludge. And this sludge will go through, we go to the uh, secondary uh, clarifier and will be set around over here. And we will remove a part of this sludge and recycle another part to supply, to supply again uh, uh, factory for this uh, process. A little, uh, uh, another part will be removed as uh, um, excess sludge. Okay, and then we, and at the end we will have clear water with less uh, with lower uh, COD. Okay, that is for uh, for organic uh, removal. Uh, for ammonium removal. Same. Uh, this uh, this process also uh, takes place in the same tank. So in, in the same tank, we will have battery that uh, treat uh, uh, organic compound and also have another kind of um, uh, battery that treat uh, ammonium and what we call it nitrification, nitrification process. So that battery will transfer ammonium to nitrate and in the condition of uh, this oxygen also so um, uh, at the end uh, ammonium will be transferred to uh, nitrate and uh, we will have more uh, bacteria uh, women's uh, sludge and on also uh, the same process in uh, this we actually a same a uh, same tank the same uh, uh, biological tank we do this uh, two uh, purpose to remove Organic compound and also ammonia. Okay, we call it a uh, nitrification uh, process to transfer ammonium to uh, nitrate. The problem is that uh, because uh, 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 this process only transfer uh, ammonium to nitrate uh, inside the and and the, and the nitrate is still remaining uh, uh, in the water. So at the end of, um, of, the, of the step, we will have uh, more uh, nitrate and less uh, ammonium. The problem is that if we have very high uh, ammonium at the, uh, at the inlet of the tank, we will have very uh, uh, 
uh, large number, uh, very high nice rate at the outlet, and nice rate is also limited. So how how to treat this nice rate? We will need to have another step, which called denitrification. So we need to have another tank uh, after the the um, the biological uh, process, and we call this this tank says uh, anosis tank to remove uh, nice rate. How how to do so? Uh, this is just a tank that we we need a sewer to mix the water inside and without supply any uh, oxygen. So if we do not supply oxygen over here, a deep tank will uh, uh, will have an uh, anosis uh, uh, condition where the uh, anosis uh, bacteria will remove will transfer. Um, nitrate into uh, N2 gas and go out of the uh, process. That's how we how we treat uh, um, nitrate. So at the end, we will have high a uh, lower nitrate and also lower uh, COD. This is just for 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 the for the wastewater treatment plant where we have very high uh, uh, ammonium at the inlet. That's why. Uh, as that at that uh, plan, we will need to have an additional time which call analysis uh, treatment. Okay. Uh, and then uh, and then the water will go through the uh, secondary uh, uh, clarifier to remove uh, sludge. And at the end, we will have low COD, low uh, ammonium, and also low nitrate. What, uh, what is the purpose of the wastewater treatment uh, process? Okay, next. Uh, not, yeah, yeah. So we need to have nitrification tank, uh, actually also to remove uh, COD, BOD, and also ammonium. And the nitrification tank, which go just after to remove uh, uh, nitrate. And as the end, we will have uh, low COD, low ammonium, and also low nitrate. And sludge will be removed over here. Okay. How about a uh, phosphate? Phosphate, uh, uh, we cannot remove it by uh, 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 by the biological uh, process. We can only uh, transfer uh, for, uh, phosphate uh, organic base to uh, phos uh, sorry uh, phosphorus uh, organic phosphorus. To, into phosphate and how to remove phosphate we have high uh, total phosphorus uh, at the inlet we will have very high uh, phosphate at the outlet and how to remove it we need to use uh, precipitation by dosing uh, precipitant it is a, chem a chemical uh, over here after the biological tank biological process we will have very high uh, phosphate uh, and to remove it, we will use the precipitation by uh, those uh, 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 iron uh, chloride. So uh, uh, iron will uh, combine with phosphate to uh, um, to produce uh, iron phosphate, which is uh, precipitated, and we remove it uh, as sludge. OK, that's how we remove phosphate. Actually, for uh, municipal uh, wastewater treatment, well, uh, uh, actually we have very low uh, phosphate, just uh, some particular uh, um, plant that we have very high phosphate at the inlet. We need to have uh, this step to remove phosphate. OK, and after that, we will have the final clarifier to remove the sludge. Uh, after the uh, uh, final clarifier, we will need to treat uh, bacteria. We have two different uh, uh, technology. We can use chlorine, which is sodium hypochlorite. Um, this one uh, can produce by uh, disinfectant byproduct if we still have high uh, uh, organic compound at the outlet. Uh, and organic can uh, uh, react with uh, chlorine to to uh, uh, 
uh, to form uh, a disinfection by product, which is sample to uh, human help. So uh, we, we have another option would be UVs. Yeah, uh, we can use UVs to treat uh, bacteria and without uh, forming any uh, by, uh, uh, disinfection byproduct. The problem for this kind of technology is the price. But 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 uh, but but more and more uh, um, uh, wastewater treatment plants uh, um, adopt this uh, this technology. In Vietnam, we also have like two or three uh, plants we uh, offer uh, with chosen. So we have different um, uh, parameter we need to measure. Uh, uh, as I said, for wastewater treatment process, we we need to. Um, treat uh, TSS and also uh, uh, organic compound and also ammonium nitrate. That's that's all of the parameters we need to measure. So we need to measure TOC as uh, uh, organic compound. We need to also measure the uh, alkalinity. Why we need to measure alkalinity? Because uh, during the nitrification process, uh, this process consume a lot of alkalinity. The nitrification process. It means that the process we transfer ammonium to nitrate. That process consumes a lot of uh, alkalinity. That's why we need to uh, uh, measure. We need to monitor alkalinity as inlet of the uh, of the biological tank. If we have very low uh, alkalinity at this step, this will like um, uh, inhibit. The, the 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 nitrification process and also because we have low uh, alkalinity, so after the nitrification process, we will have very low pH and 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 and, and the value the value the pH value uh, may may uh, may go out of the the limit. So lower than 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 five uh, pH, we that's also the limit for uh, for pH uh, for the uh, for the uh, the the effluent. Another, uh, uh, the other parameter we need to measure should be uh, total phosphorus or total nitrogen. Uh, depends on the on the on the choice. Or we can also measure uh, ammonium uh, phosphate nitrate. Uh, that's the only the parameter we need to measure. Uh, in the um, in the biological time, we need to measure this on oxygen and TSS, which is uh, uh, MLSS, the the activity sludge. Uh, we, we need to uh, 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 maintain like three or to six gram per lit uh, TAS in the in the biological tank and a two to four ppm distal oxygen. Uh, all of the, the plants we need to monitor distal oxygen in the biological tank. Okay, at the outlet of the plant, we need to measure TAS, TOC, which is an uh, organic compound. Nitrate, uh, ammonium, and for face, pH. Uh, in the in the fire, uh, cry fire, we need to measure the sludge level. And for the uh, for the the sludge uh, draw uh, sludge drawing, we need to measure the TSS also. So uh, what is the the sludge density? We use this solid, solid text to measure the sludge one. The sonar parameter we need to measure. For wastewater treatment plant. Okay. Next, for all of the uh, sensor uh, we we uh, we use for this step, we will need a controller. Even the analyzer like Amtex or Fosfax, because it's just still uh, even even though uh, they are uh, analyzer, but they need they need a controller. So we we still need to use either uh, uh, SC one thousand or the new SC4500. Uh, uh, before we use SC200, uh, but it will be soon obsolete. Okay, and then communication to uh, the SCADA of the, of the play. Okay, this is just a, 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 a picture to remind that we had the SC1000 uh, network with only one display and several um, uh, prop modules. To, uh, to be able to connect to uh, uh, a high number of uh, sensor. So only one display module and several prop module up to like four prop module 
to uh, to connect to up to sorry to uh, sensor or analyzer. Okay, and we have several uh, uh, multiple uh, choice for communication uh, protocol like proxy bus, Morbert, or or just a standard analog output. Okay, first we go through uh, uh, this on oxygen in the um, in the biological tank. We need to maintain two to three, uh, two to four uh, milligram per liter of this on oxygen. We can also use that uh, value to optimize uh, the process, like to 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 control the the air blower. In case that we have too high this on oxygen or rally, we can uh, uh, slow down. The, the air blower to, to save uh, power. In case we have uh, very too low already, uh, this one oxygen, we can speed up the, the blower to, to, uh, to provide more uh, oxygen to the process. That's how we optimize uh, uh, the nitrification and the nitrification process and save more uh, energy uh, of the plant. Because uh, uh, this point, uh, is uh, the, the the point that consume uh, the most power uh, of the of the process of the tank of the of the plant. Okay, so uh, we can use uh, uh, this on oxygen value to optimize the use of uh, the the air blower to save uh, energy. And 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 that here we use the LDO. Uh, um, uh, the the this one oxygen sensor from from Han. What is the good point from this uh, for 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 this uh, 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 produce uh, this product? Uh, no calibration required. Uh, in case in we need to uh, to calib uh, uh, calibrate it, we can still calibrate, but uh, it's not uh, not required from uh, from Han. Uh, uh, independent from flow rate, short uh, response time, so less than. Uh, 60 seconds for one uh, for one value. Uh, low maintenance only need to uh, clean uh, the the um, uh, the cap the cap of the of the sensor uh, time by time, and then and then it will run. Uh, the cap uh, this cap uh, uh, we need to be replaced every two years. So so the lifetime of the cap will be two years. After two years, we only need to replace the cap and then the sensor that will be uh, uh, operating uh, with any problem. For uh, uh, installation, we can install in the tank by, by a pie, by a pole mount, or by chain mount, or by float mount, it depends on, on the use. We, we, can also, uh, we can also install uh, in pie if we, if we want to do some bypass. Okay, this one used. Uh, Limitation uh, technology. That's why we have very low maintenance uh, task for that. Next to uh, suspended storage, which uh, which means the activated sludge in the tank, in the in the biological tank, we can use uh, suspended solid. We can use solid text for that uh, purpose. The range will be from zero to fifty gram per liter. It's mean that from zero to uh, 50,000 milligram per liter TSS, which means also MLSS. Uh, normally, we will need to maintain like, like three to six gram per liter. So this range cover that uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, purpose. Easy setup, uh, color independent me measurement, automatic cleaning with wiper over here. So, so we can set uh, the interval time for this wiper like uh, one minute, uh, ten, uh, five minutes, or fifty minutes, or even uh, 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 half an hour, or whatever we we want to set for the interval. So with the wiper, it can reduce the maintenance task also. So very robust uh, uh, sensor for uh, TS monitoring in the in the biological tank. For uh, installation, we can just uh, uh, install uh, immersion uh, with the pawn. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is for uh, MLSS uh, in in uh, biological tank. 
OK, uh, this one we can also use to measure uh, uh, the effluent, the SS effluent. Uh, so as I said, depends on the country. Uh, um, the regulation can uh, can uh, can uh, require e either SS or turbidity for uh, twisted water. So normally we use SS. Um, there will be also some country that require uh, turbidity. Solid tax can measure either uh, SS or, or turbidity, so we can still use uh, solid tax for this purpose. OK. No, this one. Yeah, uh, uh, either uh, SS or turbidity. Uh, in the US, we use, uh, I think we use so, uh, uh, SS. But maybe the other country can can require turbidity, so we still can use solid tax for this uh, purpose. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. As I said, uh, we can use a solid tax for uh, uh, MLSS in the biological tank, and also uh, we can use also that for SS at the in, at the outlet of the of the, of the treatment plant at the final effluent. So this one can either measure uh, SS or turbidity with the range from zero to uh, 4,000 NTUs. Normally in Vietnam, in Vietnam we use SS actually, and the limit for that will be uh, um, 50, 50 uh, milligram per liter for class A and, and 100 milligram per liter SS for class B. We have two classes. Uh, uh, um, uh, for a relation. Okay, uh, another uh, application for this um, uh, uh, for this product will be uh, to measure the sludge uh, density. This one uh, is the the trimmer for um, sludge treatment. So we have primary uh, clarifier. We have also fine final clarifier. From here we have primary sludge which uh, we need to uh, draw and transfer to uh, sludge treatment uh, process. We call normally we call it primary sludge or sometimes we can also call it raw sludge. Uh, from here, from the final clarifier, we call it excess sludge. This means that there will be recycled sludge and excess sludge, which we also need to draw out of the process. And uh, excess sludge will uh, combine with uh, raw sludge and will be treated at the sludge uh, treatment plant. Um, just uh, uh, another part of the of the of the wastewater treatment uh, uh, plant. And uh, there will be several points that we need to monitor the uh, sludge level. We can also be sludge level or uh, sludge density. Okay, so for sludge density. That would be uh, the pipe for, for sludge transfer, and we can install in pipe, the solid tap in pipe to measure uh, sludge density. So we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, different points that we can use solid tap to measure the sludge uh, density. Okay, how to install? We have a package, we have a, a kit uh, with flank and, uh, and pie that we well. Uh, uh, into the the sludge uh, pipe, and then we install the solid tax to measure sludge level. So uh, with the range of from zero to uh, 50 gram per liter, 50 gram per liter means that 5 percent, 5 percent uh, of sludge. But we can also have the higher uh, 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 range from zero to 500 gram per liter. This means that from zero to uh, 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 50% uh, sludge, so we can use that and install in pipe to measure uh, sludge density. Uh, there, there is also some some like even drinking water plants. Uh, we can also use uh, this one to measure the the sludge treatment. Uh, for for wastewater, we also have uh, some some project uh, we 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 are success. Uh, to install solid tax uh, uh, to measure sludge density uh, in the in the sludge pipe of the customer. Okay, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I what I said 
this is a kit uh, uh, that provided by HAC. There will be a flank and connector that we weld into the, uh, the, the, the pipe of the customer, and we will have a valve over here. We have uh, uh, three different uh, valve uh, for this application. Parameter, ammonium. As I said that, for bio biological uh, process, we we will need to to treat uh, ammonium and 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 uh, and and transfer that ammonium to uh, nitrate. So we will need to monitor ammonium at the inlet and the outlet of the biological tank. We have two different uh, uh, solutions. First, we can use Amtex, who will be uh, an analyzer uh, with chemical. Uh, this Amtex use the um, gas. Uh, uh, and uh, gas uh, selective, actually, uh, gas uh, sensor selective. Uh, so we will need to have reagent. Normally, we can use uh, a sodium uh, hydroxide uh, to transfer ammonium uh, liquid to ammonium gas and then detect it by a sensor, a gas sensor. We have different range for that from 0 to uh, 1000 milligram per liter. But for wastewater, normally we can use the range from 0 to 100. From zero to one hundred ppm for the inlet and for the outlet, uh, it can it, it can only uh, zero to uh, twenty megapolit for the outlet, and then it will be the su suitable range to uh, uh, to choose. Uh, some uh, feature like low maintenance only need to like clean sometimes clean and then uh, change the, the the sensor membrane. Uh, oh, we have also automatic cleaner and 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 automatic calibration feature also for this uh, 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 for this uh, solution. Another solution shall be the uh, AIS, uh, ISE or ANISE sensor. A uh, uh, stand for ammonium, and AN stand for ammonium and nitrate. We have two different. Uh, sensor that can measure uh, ammonium or both ammonium and nitrate, and this one uh, can be used for also for for the biological potential. Uh, the, uh, the the installation can be with chair mount, with pole mount, or rear mount. We have different uh, um, uh, installation uh, solution. Uh, for sorry, okay, for this one. Uh, uh, as I said, we have two, uh, three model uh, with only ammonium or uh, with only nitrate or uh, have both ammonium and nitrate you know, in the same uh, uh, sensor. We use the same uh, cartridge uh, over here, the cap. Okay, we can use this one combined with uh, oxygen to control the the air. So in case we have very high uh, uh, ammonium at the outlet, we may need to uh, speed up the the, the air blower because at that time we have maybe very low uh, uh, diesel oxygen already. So we can use uh, the uh, ANISSE to measure both ammonium and nitrate at the outlet of the biological tank. And also we can use the LDO uh, model two to measure uh, diesel oxygen. And we use that value to control the air valve or even control the air blower. Okay, uh, just some information. Like at the outlet, we have low um, low ammonium and uh, low nitrate. Okay, um, just a little information about this sensor. Uh, on the cap, this cap uh, will need to be replaced um depends on the operation, but uh, for recommendation from HAC, uh, the interval will be six months. But uh, of course, depends on the plan. It can uh, it can last like, like one year. Well, uh, every year we need to re uh, to to replace uh, the cartridge. That's we call cartridge. Okay, uh, on the cartridge we will have nitrate. ISE, we have ammonium ISE, depends on the um, depends on the model. Uh, potassium to uh, to compensate for ammonium and uh, chloride to compensate the, the, the value for, for nitrate. So we will have 
uh, accurate uh, ammonium and nitrate uh, value. We also have temperature sensor over here that can also display uh, uh, um, uh, temperature value. And we also have the PHD reference. So this, this is only a uh, um, uh, current measurement. We do not have uh, the value for pH. We only use the uh, pH reference uh, in current to compensate uh, uh, the value the pH for the value, for the ammonium and nitrate value, okay? Factory calibrate, but we still have match with, uh, match with uh, correlation, correction if necessary. Uh, this is how we install uh, the, the sensor with the angle of uh, uh, 45 degree. Um, for nitrate, before we have nitro tax, but nitro tax will be soon obsolete and replaced by NT3. Uh, we can also use the NISE or ANISE to measure nitrate in the outlet. As I said, in Vietnam, the limit for nitrate will be like uh, uh, 30 ppm uh, at the outlet. So if it's higher, we need to have denitrification process uh, uh, in addition. Okay, for uh, for nitrate now we use the NT3 uh, uh, um, sensor, which use uh, uh, UV with UV technology, or we still can use the NISE with uh, ISE technology to measure uh, uh, nitrate. For the insulation, still the same. We can uh, install uh, immersion or bypass also. For this time, we can have bypass uh, 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 solution. Okay, just go to NT3 family. NT3, we have two different, uh, uh, two options. The NT3100 would measure nitrate only. But for, uh, for wastewater, we can measure both nitrate and nitrate. Why we need to, to monitor nitrate? Uh, for the nitrification process, um, uh, the process will transfer ammonium to first to nitrate, first to this one, nitrate, the uh, uh, NO, NO2, and then after that to nitrate. So in case, uh, in case we have low, uh, we supply low um, dissolved oxygen or we have low temperature, uh, nitrate will not completely transfer to nitrate. And nitrate is um, toxic, uh, 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 um, uh, toxic. So we need to be very careful to uh, measure, uh, monitor nit nitrate. But of course, that for a tropical country like Vietnam and, and Philippines, we have very high temperature. So normally, all of the uh, nitrate will be transferred to nitrate. For all, of, for all, for all, only for for the country that uh, can have a cold uh, weather. Uh, we may have that problem. Uh, nitrate will not completely transfer to nitrate. That uh, when we need to monitor uh, uh, um, closely uh, nitrate and also nitrate. That's why we have this uh, product, the NT3200 uh, uh, that can measure both nitrate and nitrate. And we have different range, depends on different part length. So normally, for uh, wastewater treatment at the outlet, we can use the uh, either the two millimeter uh, uh, pack length or the five millimeter pack length. Depends on the range to choose. Uh, of course, that depends on the range, the range of the of the of the plan of the regulation uh, applied. Okay, this is a picture how we install uh, the sensor. Very easy. Just install particular uh, into the tank. Okay, question for this uh, product. Okay, no, we go next. Next, uh, we also have uh, arm tax and force tax for this application. Arm tax is used to monitor ammonium and force tax used to monitor uh, uh, force tax, of course. Uh, sorry. Uh, for arm tax, it's uh, uh, already uh, introduced. We have 
a different range from 0 to 20, from 0 to 100, or from 0 to uh, 1000. Normally, we can use the 0, the 0 to 100 uh, megan per league, but uh, sometimes we uh, for the outlet, we can use uh, the range from 20. This will be already uh, enough for the uh, 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 for the monitoring, for the uh, only monitoring. Uh, uh, this one will go with uh, SC1000, but we can also use this one with uh, this uh, analyzer with uh, hack uh, SC4500 uh, with, uh, uh, with, uh, 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 with the power box uh, as uh, additional. We also have the indoor uh, option for that. Okay, uh, for first pay, we have first pack and we have different choice, uh, different choices for, for depend on the range. We have uh, medium range from zero to 50. Normally for first, for, for first, uh, first pay, the, um, uh, the, the, um, uh, the content, uh, the, the, the first pay uh, range will be lower, will be lower than, uh, than ammonium or, or, or nitrate. So normally we can use the, uh, uh, this medium range uh, uh, from zero to fifty milligram per is in very good uh, for the uh, uh, for the phosphate uh, monitoring uh, as effluent. We also have lower uh, low range from zero to two. Normally, this one can be used uh, uh, either for uh, for wastewater effluent or for surface water. We can also use this one. Okay, uh, for installation. Uh, this uh, analyzer, AMTAX or FOSFAX, require uh, ultra-filtrated sample. So we need to have a filter. So uh, have provide FINTRA with a filter that can provide ultra-filtrated ultra uh, sample to the, to the analyzer. And this will go with uh, SC1000. Uh, for the, uh, this is the FinTrack uh, control unit. So uh, FinTrack will be provided with a control unit and the filter. The filter can be immersed uh, into the tank. Uh, we also supply the mounting, uh, uh, mounting material, but of course, uh, uh, mounting uh, uh, product uh, can, be, uh, can be provided by third party also. So we only, uh, for the FinTech, we provide the control unit and the filter over here. And we will need to replace the filter inside uh, 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 periodically, like one year or six months, depends. Okay, this is a picture how we how we install that. And uh, this FinTech uh, uh, operate independently. So we we will need to uh, supply power for this, and with the controller, uh, this fin truck will supply continuously a sample to the uh, to the analyzer, and when the analyzer measure, it will sub uh, uh, sample and and do the do the measurement. Okay. Um, for fin truck, uh, we can use one fin truck. To supply water for uh, two analyzer at the same time, uh, AMTAX and FOSTAX also. So if we have two uh, parameter, we can use only one thin track, and we supply a uh, uh, sample to uh, AM AMTAX first, and then go to uh, FOSTAX. And uh, these two can be controlled by only one uh, SC1000. Okay. Uh, Different uh, uh, installation. We can use uh, if we have uh, two uh, two channel two channel uh, because AMTAX and Postfax uh, can have uh, two channel option that we can measure uh, the inlet and the outlet of the of the plant uh, of the of the uh, uh, biological tank. At that time, we will need two fin track because the water is different. So we need two fin track and go to. Uh, one analyzer uh, with two channels to measure uh, input and output of the biological tank. Okay, so uh, as uh, same, we can use uh, 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 two uh, analyzer to measure uh, 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 at the same time 
arm uh, uh, ammonium and phosphorus at the inlet at the outlet of the of the bio biological tank. At that time, we will need to have uh, only two fin tanks for for sample uh, condition. Okay, question. Okay, no question. We go next to uh, organic um, monitoring. For organic monitoring, we can either use uh, UVAX, uh, which is a sensor, uh, use, um, uh, um, how to say, uh, absorbent, yeah, uh, UV absorbent technology to uh, cover it. Um, BOD UV, COD UV, or TOC UV by correlation. Normally, this one uh, measures SAC, uh, SAC2, sorry, 254 uh, 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 um, uh, uh, parameter and then correlate to BOD, COD, or TOC. So we can use this one for also the inlet and the outlet of the biological uh, uh, tank. Uh, normally, for the tools, we have different branch, but for wastewater, we we normally use the range from zero to uh, uh, six uh, six hundred uh, 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 millimeter minus one over here to measure uh, uh, COD and and the COD uh, will be just correlated. This is not a, the direct uh, uh, um, parameter, uh, but but by correlation. This one, this UFAS also has wiper to uh, to clean to clean the, the the measurement window over here so that's also a good point for uh, um, for this the two side wiper over here so that we will have very low uh, maintenance task but uh, of course because this uh, sensor only measure uh, SAC and then uh, 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 and then uh, um, calculate uh, COD and beauty. So sometimes uh, uh, it might be not correct. So uh, uh, beside of this sensor, we can use another option, which is uh, biotector. You can use biotector to monitor uh, uh, organic compound. So uh, we can use the B7000 uh, uh, I to monitor uh, TOC. And then, uh, and then this uh, bio, bio, uh, bio detector can also both measure TOC and then calculate uh, TOC and C and, and beauty also. In case that, in case that uh, the customer are not very familiar with TOC, they they are familiar with COD, they can still use this uh, um, analyzer to measure TOC, total organic carbon, and then uh, use the 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 correlated uh, COD uh, values. This uh, biotector can have up to six uh, channel, so we can use the two channel model to measure inlet of the biological tank and outlet of the biological tank to to control and to to judge the the biological uh, treatment. Uh, another uh, model uh, from bio biotector. Uh, we can use is the B7000 TOC TN NTP because we we need to we need to monitor um, uh, at the same time uh, organic compound uh, TN and also TP. This is uh, uh, the sum of uh, ammonium nitrate nitrate and and TP. The sum of uh, uh, phosphate uh, inorganic and phosphate uh, organic. So we can use one model uh, B7000 TOC TNTP to measure all of the uh, necessary uh, um, uh, parameters. So we can use also two channel to measure inlet and outlet of the biological tank. Uh, in Vietnam, we do uh, uh, we have not changed to offer the uh, the B7000 TOC TNTP yet, but we already offer one. A B7000 to any can Vietnam, and uh, they measure TOC at the inlet of the of the treatment plant, and also some other point uh, in the in the process. So we offer one B7000 uh, I for TOC measurement uh, with uh, four channel. Uh, for B7000 TOC TN, we 
we uh, propose. We propose uh, one unit uh, of that for one very big uh, uh, wastewater uh, treatment plant in Ho Chi Minh City, but uh, it's still uh, in tender uh, step. So hopefully we can we can win this uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, project to to have a re reverend of the uh, B7000 TOC TN to measure both TOC and TN for wastewater treatment plant. OK, uh, some information about the uh, different model in bell sector uh, analyzer. We can have the B7000I to measure a TOC only. This one is for municipal wastewater treatment plant. We have also the B7000I diary, normally for only uh, diary uh, factory, like Nestle or like the other big uh, international company. We also have different choice for B7000 TOC TN or B7000 TOC TN NTP to measure all of the necessary parameter. The range is very high from 0 to 20,000 uh, ppm and TOC, uh, 50,000 ppm TN and 50,000 and 5,000 ppm TN. So very high range that can adapt. Uh, one of the necessary, one of the uh, required application. Okay, some just some information about the B7000 TOC TNTP that that we really uh, 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 want to propose to all of the uh, wastewater treatment plan. Uh, for this uh, uh, model, we can have max two, uh, max uh, number of stream will be three. So we can measure inlet, outlet, and maybe another uh, a point. Uh, this can offer, it can, can display uh, TIC, total E organic carbon, uh, TOC, uh, total organic carbon, TNTP also. And uh, can be can, uh, uh, configured to COD and VOD in case that the customer still is still familiar with COD, but actually we can use directly TOC to uh, uh, to monitor uh, um, uh, the organic uh, uh, compound, the organic content. Can handle up to two millimeter uh, particle. Uh, six month and twelve month service. So only after six months we need to do the maintenance, not just like the other uh, uh, an, uh, uh, analyzer on the market. Maybe we need to. Uh, do the service uh, every month or every three months. For biofactor, we only need to do try service um, uh, task uh, per year. Okay, just talk a little more about the uh, two-stage advanced oxidation process from biotector. So this one is uh, 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 patented in HAC, so only HAC can provide this uh, uh, mm, technology. In, in the market, we will have different uh, oxidation uh, technology like UV passing fast or uh, thermal. Uh, so uh, for this, uh, for HAC, we uh, offer two-stage advanced oxidation uh, uh, process. This is exclusive, uh, in, inclusive uh, from, from HAC. Uh, we use only uh, uh, chemical like uh, acids and acids and base to uh, to oxidize uh, TOC and also also TN and TP. We have a model uh, uh, to to monitor to to measure TO, TN and TP. With this uh, uh, with this technology, uh, the strong point is that uh, we have very low maintenance task, only six uh, every six months. No calibrate. Uh, uh, we can also have the cleaning auto auto cleaning and no calibration uh, after every uh, uh, service. So after, uh, every six months, we do the, the, the maintenance and also do the calibration. So during the, the six months, uh, we do not need to, to, to recalibrate the, uh, the analyzer. Uh, high reliability uptime uh, uh, up to 99%, 99.86%. Cell cleaning, uh, bow reactor, and also the uh, sample pine, sample turbine. So uh, uh, thanks to that, we have very low 
uh, main and task for this uh, uh, analyzer can handle sample that contain oil, fast, and gas, uh, and can handle the uh, soft particle up to two uh, millimeter. That's one of the uh, strong point advantages from uh, biotector uh, uh, analyzer. Okay. Uh, this is just a typical installation of the TOC TNTP. This one is TOC TN, but for TOC TNTP, it's also at the same time. They do the same things. Uh, we have an analyzer, an oxygen uh, concentrator, because we need to supply uh, oxygen to the analyzer to uh, 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 to make to produce uh, ozone. We do ozone and base to to oxidize. Uh, 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 organic uh, compound. We have also, uh, we need to supply also uh, chemical, like the very basic chemical, uh, like acid and base, uh, and, and the other uh, uh, chemical for, T, uh, for TP uh, analyzer, analyze. Uh, option uh, sampler and optional compressor. In case the, the customer already have instrument uh, uh, pressurized uh, air, we can also use that one. No need to have a uh, compressor. Uh, will be the sludge level. Where we where we use this one? This one is sludge level. We measure the uh, sludge blanket, uh, blanket uh, level, and we use this one in the sedimentation tank. We need to measure the sludge uh, level, uh, blanket level, uh, at the, um, uh, at the, the sedimentation tank, and we get this one. Uh, this one uh, have um, a range from zero to twelve uh, meter. Normally, for 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 sludge uh, for sludge uh, sedimentation tank, the the tip will be around six to seven meter. So uh, this one can cover uh, the range. We can. Uh, 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 install by chain mount, by pole mount, or by pivot mount. In case uh, there, uh, there is a um, scrapper in the tank, we can use the pivot mount so it will not uh, 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 border the, the operation of the, of the scrapper. Okay, this one used um, ultrasonic, ultrasonic uh, technology to measure uh, the slush level. Uh, there's also a wiper, uh, uh, automatic wiper. So it's also a good point for, 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 for this analyzer, for this sensor. So very low, uh, man and task for that. Temperature compensation, uh, uh, position sensor, and we get that to, for quick uh, system check. Uh, innovative wiper design, wiper here to clean the measurement window. Okay. For pH, we use the same PhD. Uh, this is some example for the installation. A uh, good point for this uh, uh, pH is that we use stone bridge, uh, removable stone bridge, and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, electrolyte that we can that we can replace and refill, so that uh, we can. Uh, this uh, sensor can last longer than the other sensor. We do not need, we do not have this feature. We, we do not have a uh, removable uh, stone bridge and refillable uh, 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 electrolyte. Uh, we need to replace uh, the sensor after the lifetime. Same, we can have uh, uh, the ORP uh, sensor. In the same uh, fam uh, family with the PhD, so we can also use this sensor to monitor the ORP. Some um, some waste or treatment plant they use uh, uh, chlorine to to treat to treat the the the, the wastewater. They 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 can use uh, 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 ORP, the oxidation re reduction uh, yeah. potential to. Uh, to monitor uh, the the, um, the disinfection process, and we can also use this one to monitor the um, uh, biological uh, process also, because uh, in the biological uh, process uh, tank when we supply 
this sort of oxygen, we will create the oxidation um, uh, condition. So we can do also this uh, uh, oxidation reduction per, uh, uh, potential sensor to monitor the, um, the biological uh, uh, tank. Okay, same principle as the pH uh, uh, sensor. We can also replace the sandwich and uh, refill the electrolyte. That's also a good point for this sensor. Okay, another sensor application that we can use for uh, for wastewater treatment process shall be the uh, conductivity uh, sensor. Normally, we can uh, we can measure uh, uh, TDS uh, because uh, we can use uh, conductivity to uh, calculate the TDS or salinity. Also, some uh, wastewater treatment plants. Uh, we can have very high uh, uh, TDS at the inlet, or uh, maybe the wastewater can be uh, salty. Can be a salty uh, if the if the wastewater is so salty, it can also be harmful to the biological uh, process. So that's why we also need to monitor very, very closely the connectivity, TDS, and salinity of the wastewater the wastewater uh, influence. So we can also use the uh, 37,000, uh, uh, 3,700 series inductive uh, connectivity sensor. Very robust for wastewater treatment uh, process. Okay, and this one can, can also uh, display either connectivity, uh, TDS or uh, salinity. Okay, uh, for alkalinity, as I said that, we need to measure alkalinity because uh, the uh, nitrification process consume a lot of alkalinity. So if we have low alkalinity at the outlet, at the inlet of the biological tank, we may we may need to uh, 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 provide more alkalinity by those uh, more uh, uh, sodium hydroxide. Uh, at the beginning, uh, at, at the at the inlet of the uh, of the biological tank. At that time, we will need to use the alkalinity value to control that uh, sodium hydroxide uh, pump. So that is also uh, a parameter that we need to measure for the biological uh, process. For alkalinity, we will need to use the easy theory. We had the easy four thousand to measure. Uh, uh, alkalinity. If we have very low alkalinity after the uh, nitrification process, we will have very low pH. And the limit for pH in Vietnam, I think, will be five, uh, five pH. If it is lower, uh, uh, we will uh, uh, we will not uh, be able to discharge that uh, uh, that uh, 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 waste, that treated waste. We need to those more uh, uh, sodium hydroxide to compensate the the analyze the alkalinity uh, value. Okay, that is all of the uh, sensor analyzer we can use for wastewater treatment process uh, for municipal. For in uh, for industrial uh, wastewater, we can have a lot of different. Uh, 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 parameter it depends on the in the industrial. For example, for automobile or for steel uh, production, we can have uh, uh, nickel, copper, chromium, uh, sand, cyanide. Uh, that's all of the parameter uh, we 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 will need to monitor uh, for automobile, automobile or or. or um, or steel uh, production uh, industrial. Uh, for that, we can use the easy series with colorimetric uh, uh, method. We can have also different other uh, parameters like hardness, ammonium, sulfate, so, uh, sulfide, uh, chloride, fluoride. All of the all of the, uh, the uh, uh, particular uh, parameter depends on the on the industrial that uh, we may need to monitor. And at that time, we can use the easy saving. 